Hello everyone, it's me Andrea. Today I'm here with another notebook. As you can see I prepared it already. Uh, now I'm working on it with, this is a watercolour paper, quite heavy, 300 grams. So um, I cut it into sh the size I want and then I cut out an aperture. Aperture, you say that? Yeah, a window in the middle. So um, that will be a harbour scene, sea scene with passenger ship, cruise liner. So on that reverse side of the book there will be this modelling paste with um, this compass rose. Do you call it compass rose? Yeah. While that dries I work on the front and start with this turquoise quite thinned down with water otherwise it doesn't work that good with the alcohol drippage. And I do that layer by layer, always keep in your mind if it needs to be thinned with water that it works, otherwise uh, you won't get this nice pattern. The last layer is uh, white with a bit of light blue, should symbolize the sky. At the moment when you look at it, it looks quite messy, but at the end it, co it looks okay. So now on the back I do the same, but not with that many layers. On top of everything I seal it with acrylic binder first and at the very very end I seal it with the varnish but we are not that far yet so this video I cut it a lot I must admit because it would have been long 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 and I don't like to have long videos and so, so I cut it quite a lot and speed it up so sorry for that but the really important bits are okay so I put this stamp down at the end I had to repeat it on top of that, you can't see it through, but you don't know that when you start, so it is not that bad to do that just in case. So three pay, uh, colors I use here, it's sienna, um, turquoise and white, and I put it on and um, rub it off again, it should look distressed like a a yeah, wooden wall for example, not a for example, it should look like that because at the end you can see what I do with it. Now the last bit is with a brayer and gesso on top. So I put that uh, wooden grain pattern again back again with a stem and um, mm, that's it for the inside at the moment. So I'm working on the outside now again. And this is what I want to put um, on the front. I drew that down and went over it with gesso. And now I'm working on it with acrylic paints. Different paints in um, beige and light brown to get this um, jetty. I really sped this up a lot, but I think with this speed you can see the process quite good, in my opinion. So, um, I really, need, when I draw something, I always need a reference, you know, and I found this quite um, good thing. It was drawn like a comic thing, and that's easy for me. Realistic is that's far too difficult for me so and same with the seagulls I quite love them found them a while ago and I find them so funny um, I put them down in the same way and yeah I had to cut out something with my knife and of course afterwards I outlined everything again cut it out and uh, edged it same with this little guys so it looks like, should look like that at the end. So I'm working again on the inside. I had this cruise liner cards, this old one, ones in a pack. I had some, this replica, uh, replica vintage packs with different themes and this was um, sea themed. I never thought I would use them, but that was perfect on this one. Um, 
I yeah, put them on hangers, like um, they would hang on the wall. That's what I wanted to show here. A bit of pearl pen and silver. Should be the nail. And my crocodile. Yeah, I have my big crocodile now that well, I can make this uh, um, my ring binder in this way. That I'm so happy about that was worth buying. So, a bit of uh, ink gold over that uh, compass rose buff in it. And that's it. And now I always look, assemble it and, and have a look again. And so how I want it. And so on this is the, Q, uh, the, the Queen Mary 2 and that was a picture I printed from the internet and of course I need to um, thingy it now um, yeah As, uh, put it in the way that it fits into the, the, the picture so and um, I think that's quite okay see now yeah, that will fit so now I go and work on the frame and I use this um, sea green and put some of this wood grain pattern with the stamp on top, a bit of stamping in the middle, only to have a bit of background. And then I thought the uh, right top corner there was something missing, I wanted to balance it out and then I found this seagull I drew down and um, yeah I painted in. Same procedure, fussy cut it out and um, outline it. And that's actually the spine I'm working on. It's corrugated cardboard, gesso, and this sea green, and then this brown archival ink randomly put over. And then I glued it with dimensional tape down. So, and now the fun bit starts, put everything together and find out if I like it. Hey, <laughs> too late then. Hmm. No, I quite like it. So. And uh, that's actually for a boy, 12 or 13 he will be, that's a birthday present. His mom ordered it for me, so I made one for her mom for a birthday. And the kids like it so much, they oh, we want one. So they get this and the girl will be, will have uh, the birthday in March and I have to do another one. And um, if you want to see that as well, please let me know. You know, I'm making quite a lot of notebooks recently. So when you're fed up with that, I'm quite okay with it. But if you want to watch it, tell me, let me know in the comments and I will load it up as well. So, a bit of shading here with an intense pencil and the water tank brush around... Um, a bit, not a lot because uh, most of the stuff is on 3D foam tape anyway so it's dimensional and doesn't need a lot of shading. So this is this uh, how I put down on the spine and that's a uh, close up. That's it. So I hope you like it and um, tell me if you want to see the other one as well otherwise I uh, leave it. Thanks for watching everyone. And I hope I see you with my next video, whatever it will be. Thanks a lot. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.